close your eyes and gather your thoughts around the breath. Where is your breath right now? Where do you feel it? Focus your attention right there. Try to give your attention an anchor. Otherwise the mind is like a ship without an anchor floating around in the ocean. Whatever waves happen to come, whatever direction they're coming from, it's at the mercy of the waves. Who knows? It can get, sometimes it gets where it wants to go, and sometimes it gets blown over to the other side of the world. Sometimes it's washed up on shore, washed up against a cliff. All kinds of things can happen to the boat when it doesn't have an anchor. It's the same with the mind. Your thoughts blow us around, and then influence from outside come and blow it around. So to protect the boat, you got to give it an anchor. Stay right here. Whatever thoughts come into the mind, just let them go. Let them go. You don't have to pay them any attention, no matter how interesting they may be or how insistent they may be. You don't need them right now. You're developing a new skill. We spend all of our lives interested in the conversations in our mind. And so now we've got to change the conversation, pull out of the conversation as best we can. But we do start by thinking about the breath. So talk to yourself about the breath. How is it? Where is it? Once you've located it, okay, ask yourself, is it comfortable? If it's not comfortable, you can change the way you breathe. You can try it longer or shorter, or try in long, out short, in short, out long. Then you ask yourself, once the breath is comfortable, what do you do with that sense of comfort? Well, you let it spread so you get the most use out of it. And the mind still has work to do, but it's good work. It's work to establish a foundation. Because once everything is comfortable inside, you've got that sense of well-being filling the body, you've got your awareness filling the body, then, then you can stop the conversation or make it just a monotone, just breath, breath, breath. And part of the mind will complain, this is kind of dumb. No new ideas, no new insights. But that's not the point right now. We're working on a skill. We're working on getting some control over the mind. So it does have an anchor. A place where you can go, where you, when the thoughts get stormy, you've got your safe haven right here. And when the mind begins to slip out and look for the storms again, you can see why is it going. You learn a lot about the mind simply by trying to keep it still. When the Buddha was teaching meditation, he didn't divide it into tranquility practices and insight practices. He basically said, practice concentration and bring whatever insight you have and whatever tranquility you have to the concentration. And as the mind gets more concentrated, then both those qualities get developed even further. Because if you don't understand your mind, you can't keep it here. So notice what you learn about the mind as it slips out, and keep bringing it back. This way, when the time comes to go, when the storms have passed and it's okay to lift anchor, then you're in control. When things get stormy again, you put the anchor down again. That way, eventually, the ship gets to go where you want it to go.